welcome. Thank you for volunteering to participate in our study on ESP, or otherwise known as extra sensory perception. My name is Dr. Hastings, and I will be conducting the test today. So, do you know a little bit about what ESP is? That's correct, in a nutshell. So, extrasensory literally means outside of the senses. So, the senses of sight, touch, hearing, smell, and taste. And ESP is the ability to receive and process information outside of these five senses, almost independent of them. Hence why this phenomena is sometimes referred to as the sixth sense. And DSP can be categorized into six different types. Type one is telepathy, the ability to read another person's mind. Number two is precognition, the ability to see into the future. Number three is retrocognition, the ability to see into the past. Number four, psychokinesis or telekinesis, the ability to have a direct effect on an object without using any physical effort or energy. Number five, clairvoyance. The ability to see information about an object, person, scenario, location, an event in the past, present or future by using only extrasensory means. And number six, mediumship, the ability to communicate with the dead by channeling their spirits. But today, we are interested in testing your telepathy the ability to read another person's mind. And for that, we have a very simple test. And it's one that you may have seen before. I have in my hand a deck of Zena cards. And they look like this. You have a star, a square, three wavy lines, a cross. and a 
circle. So if I could ask you to take the cards from me, take a look at them thoroughly, commit them and their names to memory, as I will be reshuffling these into the deck and the deck contains duplicates of these so at any point any one of those symbols can be drawn from the deck of cards now I will hold the card up to you, with the back facing you. The image will be facing me, and I will communicate what I am seeing to you just through my mind, alright? And what I want you to do is to tell me which symbol is showing, okay? Now, what would you like me to do? Show you the correct answer as we go, or show you the correct answer at the end? All right, that's fine, we'll do that. Let's first take some nice deep breaths in and out, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. I want you to empty your mind of any thoughts, allow your mind to go totally blank. Breathe in again, and out. You want to be free of any thoughts, emotions, or strong feelings in order for the test to be successful. Yes, take another deep breath in, and out. Get your mind into a state where you feel relaxed and free from worry. I'll allow you a few more moments to calm your thoughts and become more relaxed. Alright? Do you feel more relaxed now? Are you ready to proceed? Good. So, let's begin. I'm going to hold up the first card. Can you tell me what this card is? All right. It was wavy lines. Can you tell me what the next card is? It was circle. And the next? It was star. And the next? It was square. And the next. It was wavy lines. And the next.
It was cross. And the next. It was circle. And the next. It was star. And the next. It was And the next. It was circle. And the next. It was star. And the next. It was square. And the next. It was square. And the next. It was square. And the next. It was wavy line. It was cross. And the next. It was circle. Next. was square. Next. This was cross. Next. It was wavy lines. This was cross. Next. This was circle. Next. This was and the last one this was wavy lines so that brings us to the end of the ESP test Thank you so much for participating. The data that we have gathered today will be used as a whole 
enough scientific research. Again, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you soon.